Thank you for downloading and installing F-Type. Now we invite you to explore F-Type by working with the Bird Eye Hub visualization platform. The Bird Eye Hub visualization platform enables users to view and modify reports stored in a central repository called an encyclopedia volume. Users view and modify reports with the BERT Interactive Viewer. You will learn about features of the Interactive Viewer by working with the BERT iHub sample application. The sample application analyzes sales revenue for a company that produces model cars, trains, ships, and other vehicles for toy stores, hobby shops, and collectibles distributors. Let's take a look at the sample application reports that showcase BERT iHub F-Type features. Start the BERT iHub visualization platform by double-clicking the icon on your desktop. Then, log in as administrator. No password is necessary. The navigation pane appears on the left side of the BERT iHub visualization platform window. Navigate to Default Volume, Documents, Applications, BERT Sample App. If the folder names are not fully visible, drag the right edge of the navigation pane to the right. Click the menu icon to the right of the BERT Sample App folder and select Open Application. The BERT Sample Application's launch page opens in a new browser window. Click on the Customer Revenue Metrics Report. The Customer Revenue Metrics Report has four parts. Revenue History, Top 5 Customers, Revenue by Product Line, and Revenue by Territory. Scroll through the report to see the different parts. In later tutorials, you will examine each of these parts in detail. Scroll to the top of the report so that the Revenue History section is visible. Revenue History is depicted as a line chart superimposed on a bar chart. The bar chart displays total revenue per month and corresponds to the left axis. The line chart displays total units sold per month and corresponds to the right axis. BERT charts deployed on the iHub are animated and interactive, allowing the user to set filters and zoom on values to gain a better understanding of the data. Click on the various time periods in the Zoom button panel. See relative performance for any time frame by resizing and moving the slider underneath the chart. Next, we will focus on the Top 5 Customers table in the center of the report page. Let's leverage the Interactive Viewer to sum the current year's revenue for the top five. Click on the This Year column in the table. Then click the column menu and select Aggregation. In the Select Function property, choose Sum, then click OK. To write justify the aggregation, select the This Year column, then click the column menu and select Alignment Right. Now we'll calculate the overall median change in revenue for these customers from the prior year. Click on the Percent Change column, then click the Column menu and select Aggregation. Select the Median function, type the word Median in the label and press OK. Now let's create a calculated column to display next year's projected revenue. Click on the Percent Change column, then click the Column menu and select Column New Computed Column. Enter Forecast for the column label, then click on Advanced in the Select Function property. Click anywhere in the Enter Expression box and press the right bracket key, which displays the available data fields for your expression. Select the column Current Year Sales, then type star 1.2. Multiplying the current year sales by 1.2 and calculating an estimated 20% increase in sales over the coming year. Format the column by clicking on the column menu and selecting Format, Format Data. Select Currency and press OK. Now let's focus on the Revenue by Product Line part of the report, which contains a pie chart depicting Revenue by Product Line. When you hover over a slice of the pie chart, a tooltip pops up with the product line name. Let's filter out our best-selling product line, Classic Cars, and see how the remaining product lines compare. Click in the white space around the chart to select it, then click the Filter icon. Set the Filter by property to Product Line, and set the Condition property to Not Equal to. Then set the Value property to Classic Cars. Press OK. The chart now displays all product lines except Classic Cars. The Revenue by Territory part of the report contains a side-by-side -side horizontal bar chart that shows revenue by territory for the years 2011 through 2013. 
Data and visualizations contained in BERT reports can be exported in a variety of formats. Let's export this chart to a PDF document. Click in the white space around the chart to select it, then click the column menu icon. Click the ellipsis button, then select export content. In the export format property, select PDF, then click OK. A PDF document opens with the exported chart. In a later tutorial, we will show you how to export functions, charts, and crosstabs into Excel. Users can save a modified report as a BERT report design or a BERT report document. Saving as a BERT report document creates a snapshot of the current data, while saving as a BERT report design allows you to rerun the modified report with fresh data at any time in the future. Click the main menu icon and choose Save As. Select an iHub folder to save the modified report to and provide a name for the new file. Click OK to save the report. You have just familiarized yourself with the BERT iHub visualization platform from the perspective of a user. Interactive BERT reports introduce a new application paradigm that allows users to create their own experience without involving IT. In following tutorials, you will learn more about BERT Interactive Viewer, including how to modify a chart, how to export content and data to Excel, and how to create a summary report. Thanks for watching.